All right, welcome. Um, I have new appliance, which is the Samsung uh, tumble dryer 9kg with the smart thing, the whole singing and dancing features. There's a few things I would like to say this. First of all, when I unpacked it, of course you can see the packaging there. That's the um, that's the one that's the bottom part. Um, it was the easiest thing to unpack, first of all, because it's quite easy to rip the plastic covering off, um, which is quite nice. Um, that just basically leaves you with trying to lift the whole tumble drive slightly to get the bottom bit, as you can see this one here, out of underneath. Um, I put it under my stairway um, on here. As you can see, there's a few things I like to mention. This is why I'm basically doing this video. Um, I'll get back to the efficiency of this. This is the tumble dryer that's got triple um, star rating in terms of efficiency. Uh, that is one of the reasons I bought it um, with extra £20, literally. I'll put all price details on um, on my channel and you'll notice exactly how much I got it for and everything with a good deal and how I managed to get it for a good price considering they're very expensive and very hard to get hold of right now. Um, first thing I'd like to say when you do get this into its place uh, you'll notice there are four legs on either side and all four of them can be adjusted and this is where you need a spirit level put on the top and work out the back first and then do the front to just make sure the back and the front is uh, uh, level and same thing, you do the back or side to side as well. That's the first thing I had to do, as the instruction said. Uh, next thing to basically to let you know is when you first turn it on, uh, when you first turn it on, you'll notice that it asks for languages. And for some strange reason, I was so stupid to do this, to be honest with you, I pressed the button that was here um, just straight away and they set the language to a different language and it took ages for me to work out. How do I get it back to the original? And if you're stuck on this bit, uh, all I can say is hold this button for three seconds. It goes into the, um, if you hold it for three seconds, this will come into a system menu. Uh, once you're in there, you've got to basically uh, work your way down. You'll say Wi-Fi. And I think after the Wi-Fi comes languages and then press the button on the languages on there and then keep turning the knob on here until you see English. Um, that's how I managed to change it. So this is the first part of the video. Just to show you how it looks when it's unpackaged. Um, it does come with some good features. Uh, just to let you know, when you open it, it is a 9kg drum, which is really big. Uh, considering that I had a 7kg drum before, you can notice the difference. So we do do a lot of washing and we wanted something very economical, uh, best that we can get. And we decided on this one because of the economic and also the size of the drum. Uh, and the price that I got was really good, so I decided to go. It is still expensive considering you can get a normal tumble drive for £200. But I've calculated over a few years, um, I think we do have a tumble, we do have them. Last one lasted us, I think, for about 10, 11 years. Um, so after five years, you get your money back in terms of efficiency uh, and so forth. That is one of the uh, things that I've read up about, so I thought I'd go for it. But inside, it's beautifully done. Is a nice uh, uh, tumble dryer and simple to use. You literally, all the water that comes out, it literally comes out from this. Um, you put it back on easily as well. And I like the fact this one is on the top. My last one was at the bottom somewhere there. I think you have to open the door and open everything up. Um, that's how I got into the last one to get the water out. But this is on the top. Another thing you can do with this specific tumble dryer is that you can actually, I think, you can connect the back uh, uh, pipe into a waste water or somewhere um, therefore you probably won't need to use this the water will go straight out into your drain um, that's the bonus of this as well so if you're thinking of going that line you can also do this but I do recommend read up on it first uh, and see if you if you can do it um, there's nothing much here apart from the fact that when you do open it up it does come with some accessories so there are some accessories that comes with the uh, um, tumble dryer. One of these, this is a pipe that, as I mentioned earlier on, this pipe, if I can find the end of it somewhere in there, is the where all the excess water, after it's done the condensing, comes out of, as you can see there, and into your drain. Um, it's got something else as well in there, some sort of brush. So um, there you go. Um, the best bit about this is if you've got shoes and stuff to dry, I know we sometimes have to wash our shoes and stuff, so it does come with this little tray. So just to show you, the tray itself seems to just go in, there's little hooks on either side, 
it falls into the little groove and it stays there so now you can put your whatever you want to dry just put it in there but I do recommend not to put any other clothes in it it's just to dry your shoes and stuff quickly as possible and that's where the best way to, I do like the idea of that that's the extra benefit of this apart from that I mean the star excess that comes out of the dirt or whatever you've uh, you know comes out of the tumble dryer as you'll see will get collected into here and you literally just take it out as I've just done so opening up there and you just close it back down again which doesn't seem enough there well, my last one is quite big uh, and a hold of some sort that holds them in so there, there you go um, if there's anything else I've missed out I will if there's anything I've missed out I will mention it uh, on my notes so um, yeah another thing I did when I connected to my phone there are a lot of features on here I mean I wouldn't go through them all because you have to read them yourself uh, when you find it um, you'll find it on the internet quite easily on their uh, manuals and stuff but there are a lot of options on here so this is the quick dry if I turn it mixed load synthetics uh, delicates towels beddings shirts wool outdoor sports okay outdoor stuff goes fine uh what was that I miss outdoor iron dry time dry um warm air pre-dry okay cool air and then back to cotton again Okay, there are the features that's on there. I thought I'd quickly show you those. Um, and I have connected to my mobile phone. I haven't actually used it to see how well you use. I don't see the point of it, to be honest with you, unless if you can press a button and get my uh, washing from my washing machine, get it straight into there. If you could do that, that would be brilliant. Apart from that, if you still come in here, you still have to put it in there. You can delay, I suppose. If you leave something in there, you can do it overnight from if you're in bed or whatever. Just press the button and get it started. That's probably the only benefit that you have. But I'd rather just put the stuff in, turn the machine on, let it finish, and it's dried. So there you go. That's the first look on this lovely uh, um, heat pump tumble dryer. So we've been using this for a few weeks now just to see how it works um, to give you a better understanding. There's a few things I've noticed straight away. First, best thing that I notice is when you open the door, a light comes on and you can see inside. And I've just literally done a load of drying already, um, a large load. And um, since the two loads that I've done already, just to show you how much debris or anything that comes out, you can see in here, if I open this up, that's the bit that I'm not, I'm not really that fond of, is the opening, actually it does open quite nicely. And that's how much dusty stuff that can normally comes out. And if I show you clearly, there's hardly anything in there basically. And that's after I think two, two loads I think we've done. And normally on my last um, dryer, um, there would be a lot more than that. Um, coming out and they'll be coming up from the front there's to be a vent on here and there'll be a lot more coming out somehow all over the place and it's to get very dusty so on a positive note uh with this sort of uh dryer a condenser dryer you hardly notice any of this stuff you know uh dusty stuff that comes out from clothes it doesn't go everywhere the filter itself is very compact and it doesn't really fill up that quickly and and also the water this must be after four loads we've done and you can see this bit of water that I look at the movement let me see if I can get it out it'll be quite heavy actually there you go so now that is emptying and um, only thing I'll say about that, this bit here is if you look at the top bit there it's open I was thinking there might be some sort of lid that goes on top but there isn't any I don't think I don't know why um, just there it's a fully open I thought there'll be a lid but there isn't uh, that's probably the way the water goes in. Anyway, I just got to get this out, empty it, and put it back on again. Now that I've emptied it, you can see straight away uh, that's the way the water would normally come out and go in from the uh, dryer as well. Um, but the only thing I would say is the water that I just took out, I don't know if you noticed it, it was completely full to the brim, right to the top, and the dryer did not indicate to me to say that oh it's full empty it uh that's one thing i'm not sure why it didn't do they should have actually had a light on there saying 
empty the water tank um, straight away because it was completely full. But anyway, it goes in quite simply, so you've got to keep an eye out on that. That's one of the things that I've noticed. Um, in terms of usability, um, it's very, very, very simple. It literally comes on, and as I've shown you before, you literally can just change the setting to whatever you want. Um, you can change the setting to whatever you want. Um, and there are the options there. And if you've got the app, it tells you when it's finished, which is a good sign. A notification will come up on the app. And you can literally just, uh, um, you know, turn it on, turn it off with that. Um, another interesting thing, fact is, way does its um, drying, if you turn the mix load on, for example, it tells you at the bottom, you'll heat up first, you'll dry it first, and then you'll cool down. And when it cools down, you don't have hot, uh, uh, hot sort of clothes and stuff that comes out of the dried. It's not hot. All the time like the last one it was fully hot when you opened it so it cools it down so you can get it down nicely and especially having a bigger drum what it does is it doesn't uh, crease up your clothes too much that's another improvement that i've noticed um yeah so that that is there are a few things that i think is very important and it helps to decide what sort of dryer you want to go for as this is a condensed dryer and it's an a plus plus rated uh, due to the fact that it's got heat pump dryers are very efficient and I thoroughly recommend it just because of that and you don't have to go for the Samsung brand or anything like this you can just go for any other brand that has heat pump and there are others that I would say um, are probably efficient as this in a different brand but because we've got other Samsung product and this one suited us, that's the reason I purchased this particular one. And there are lower level ones as well with slightly cheaper. And I think they will do the same thing because they're sort of all standardized now. This one's just got a bigger drum and, uh, and that really helps as well. So thank you very much for watching. I mean, this is just a little zest of what the uh, dryer can do and why heat pump dryers are much more efficient. Um, and I think if you look at the statistics of the heat pump dryers, uh, they do save you a lot of money in the long run, long as it, the machine lasts that long. So you've got to weigh that up as well. I mean, cost uh, of running something like this, and plus because it gives out the uh, you know clothing that we're going to dry in there comes out really well, and it's so efficient, it, not just in terms of energy, but in terms of how it's, it works. Um, is all positives and helps to decide what sort of dryer you want to go for and that is the main reason we went with this dryer in addition to everything that i have said about the tumble dryer here um heat pump tumble dryer the bet one of the good things i've noticed is i've got a load in there already and when i open this up you don't get much dust you're putting on the filter at all like my last one did which used to be everywhere used to just get over the floor it was all over the place anyway the one more thing to show you as well um when i turn this on uh you might get a message saying clean heat exchange uh, and tap okay now that is basically now i know as i mentioned probably before um why we have this brush now um it does say on here uh, cleaning brush and where you clean the heat exchanger is basically quite simple you tap here unlock unlock pull this out there's nothing on here at all but if you look inside you'll notice there's some debris in there and literally just clean those out you can see it comes out on the brush so you clean those out it's slightly damp as well so it easily comes off so you just keep poking it which I wasn't aware of so you have to clean it last one you have to take the whole heat exchanger out and do it but this one seems to be a bit more simpler and give it a good clean of course oh. there's a bit more here for some reason it seems to be at the front here so it's easy to get it out so just checking again to see if there's any more to do I think there's some more left inside and uh, that's now how clear as it can be Put it on the left
Anyway, that's how you clean your heat exchanger on a Samsung uh, heat pump tumble dryer. Putting it back is simple. You push the thing back in, lock this side, lock the other side, close this down. Voila. There's only a little bit of debris that was on there. It wasn't a lot, but um, that was it. So there's another part of the tumble dryer that you need to be aware of and it's quite easy to do so it's uh, and it's very simple and all you've got to do now is press ok and to press ok you need to turn the knob to the right comes to the ok bit and I suppose you just press the button here to select ok job done it is a it is a condensing uh, uh, tumble dryer with a heat pump which is supposed to be very efficient and after a while I use it I might leave a comment on the bottom to see how efficient it is to see if it does make any difference to my electric bill because we do tend to use uh, uh, dryers a lot in this country you know because of the weather but and it's a, it is a time saver and I'm hoping this tumble dryer will last us longer long as the last one did although if it wasn't the most efficient tumble dryer that we had in the past it is a new technology and as I've said if I find anything different out of the ordinary i will mention it on the notes on my channel so once again thank you very much for watching and i hope to bring some more uh, stuff for you later